today's video is going to be my September favorites, and you can probably notice that I'm in a different kind of setup here than what I normally film my videos in, and that's basically just because I'm sitting on my bed, and it's really, really dark outside because it's pouring rain, the power even went off a couple minutes ago, so that's why, and I have my light out, so if the lighting sucks, my apologies, but let's go ahead and jump into the favorites. Um, I'm going to start off with this Annabelle quad, and this one is in the color Pinkaboo, and I've been wearing this like all month, or I guess since I got it. I got this at Blog Van City, and I did a whole haul video two videos ago on that stuff, so I'll have that link down below if you want to check out that video and see all of the drugstore makeup products that I received in my goodie bag there. But I absolutely love this quad. I like wearing purples on my eyes. It's kind of just something different than like shimmery champagnes and browns. Totally wearing shimmery champagne on my eyes, but besides the point. Um, my favorite color from this quad is actually this taupey gray purple color. I absolutely love this color. I'm wearing it in my crease today. And this is overall just a really good quality quad. And it's from the drugstore, so highly recommend these. And I kind of want to look into getting a few more because I love it that much. My other makeup product favorite of the month is a blush. And this one is from Milani. And I picked this up at like Superstore, because that's where they sell Milani here. I know they probably have it at other places, but that's where I know sells it in Canada. And this is in number three, Berry Amour. Um, I'm not sure. But basically, these are just mineralized blushes, and this is just a really dark, rosy pink with a lot of gold reflex and shimmer in it. And I like using this for school because I don't have to also use a highlighter. Like, sometimes I'll use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Soft and Gentle, but this has enough like shimmer and actual pigmentation that it works as both and it gives you like really nice sheen and it's a darker blush so it's good for the fall time and I think these are around like eight dollars or something and it's cool because when you open it up it has like a bottom and it comes with a brush and everything and a mirror so that's pretty cool but I really like this these blushes and I definitely want to try out more so if you have any Milani baked blush favorites leave them in the comments below because I've really been loving this one so far so those are actually all my makeup favorites for the month. I've just kind of been keeping with my normal routine and everything. But I do have one nail polish favorite, and this is from Essie, and this is in the color Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez. I don't know. Um, and I really like this color. It's a taupey nude. It's definitely more on the taupe side, so it's a little bit darker than a typical like nude. And I really like it. It's just like a really clean finish. I got a few compliments when I wore it, and it's just a pretty good go-to color for the fall. So. Highly recommend that one if you're looking for a nude nail polish. Another random beauty product that I tried this month was the Jolene, I think that's how you pronounce it, Jolene Cream Bleach. And this lightens excess, excess dark hair mild formula with aloe vera. And I was looking for something for my upper lip to bleach it because I was using Nair for the longest time and I just didn't really like the results of that so I wanted to try a bleach and I absolutely love this. It did not irritate my upper lip and I have very, very sensitive skin when it comes to this kind of stuff. So if you do too and you want to bleach your upper lip, I guess, I highly recommend this. I got this at Walmart for like $5 and also I had to do a test patch of it and I actually did it on my hand. and. This is kind of like personal, but I have always been so self-conscious of the hair on my arms because it's so dark and it like went to my, like obviously the hair on my hands too. And so when I bleached it, I was like, Kiar! And so I did the rest of my hands and I just, it, you can't tell. Like it's not that big of a difference, but I notice and I like it. So I highly recommend this if you need to lighten some of the hair on your body. And yeah, like I said, it's super cheap at Walmart and it's a great product and... I've been loving it so far. That's all I got. Another body product that I discovered this month is the Dove Go Fresh Burst Body Wash. And this one is in the scent Nectarine and White Ginger. And holy crap, I love this stuff. It smells so good. It's so moisturizing. I don't think it has like little exfoliant beads, but I could be wrong because it kind of feels a little gritty when you put it on. But the scent is what got me. And these were on sale at Walmart for like $2.00. And if nectarine had, like, a candy, you know how there's, like, peach rings? If there was, like, nectarine rings, this is what it would taste like because this is, it smells like candy. It's so sweet and it's so fruity and I absolutely love this. It's such a huge bottle, too. Um, and I just, I love using this in the shower because it just makes my shower smell, smell so fresh and clean. And, yeah, highly recommend these and I want to check out what other scents they have because this one smells delicious. 
My hair product favorite of the month has been the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil, and this is from the brand Organics. And I got this in a travel set over the summer. If you saw my packing video on my vlog channel, you saw this already. But this is just like a little mini bottle, and I've been using this at the ends of my hair uh, right when I get out of the shower, and I really like the way that this leaves my hair after I've blow dried. It's super soft at the bottom. It doesn't feel like dry or anything, and sometimes I have that problem, even though I just got a haircut. Not that you'd be able to tell, but sometimes the ends of my hair feel super dry at some points, and this leaves it super shiny and soft. So, if you're looking for a good drugstore hair product, like a good drugstore Moroccan oil, I highly recommend this. I don't really see a need to use like a higher end brand when this works so well, so recommend that one. And just another random favorite of the month, I have been absolutely loving burning my candles. As you guys know, I am now in a bedroom suite for college, and I'm have basically completed one full month of college and shout out to any of the people in my class because I know some of them watch my videos so sup guys and that was really off topic but anyways I've been like loving living by myself I guess and I love burning candles it just feels so much more homey and also I had a few guests come over and they first thing they say when they walk into my house is oh my gosh it smells so good and I'm like thank you and so the candle that I've been burning the most is the fresh picked heirloom pear scent from Bath and Body Works obviously and like I said this just smells like pear but it's a really nice fresh kitcheny scent so that's why I burn it and as you can see I've burned quite a bit of it but I absolutely love it and this whole month it seemed like Bath and Body Works had a ton of discounts emails and stuff this whole time like every weekend I got a new email about a discount and so I ended up getting like four candles and this is the one that I've burned the most so I thought I would mention it and I highly recommend this scent if you're like sensitive to scents. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into a few of my food favorites because like I said I am living on my own now so I do need to grocery shop for myself and I thought I'd share with you a few of the things that I have been loving. The first thing, I've been trying to mention this in a video for months now but this is the Boathouse Amazing Mango 100% fruit smoothie with 13 servings of fruit and I like to get the big bottle because these last a really long time and the due dates aren't for like months and these are really great to have just like half a cup or whatever in the morning you feel like you're getting fruit you're getting you're doing something right I don't know but I really like the taste of this one I have tried the vanilla chai and the mocha chocolate or something and I don't like them as much I definitely like this one more and yeah it has I'll just show you the back so you can see what it has in it and yeah this is just a really great smoothie product sometimes I don't like making my own smoothies and so that's when I resort to this and it makes sure that I'm getting my servings of fruit so highly recommend that if you're looking for something a little fruity to drink. My next drink favorite is actually something that I posted on Instagram like a week ago and this is the Tazo Green Tea Latte and this is just the concentrate and you get this at Walmart for like seven dollars it's so expensive, but it's so worth it, so I always stock up when I go. But basically, this is just like the chai one I mentioned in previous videos. You basically do half milk and then half of the concentrate, and add it on ice, or you can warm it up kind of thing. And you guys know that I love green tea frappuccinos from Starbucks, so this is like heaven, because I can have it at home and it tastes so good. I do want to try putting it into like a like milkshake type thing, making it kind of like a frappuccino, but I haven't done that yet. And it's just amazing. And my last food favorite for this month are the Farmer's Market Oatmeal Cookies and you get these at Superstore as well and mm, these cookies are so good and I had to make sure I like saved some so I could show you them. They're basically just oatmeal cookies. They're very very soft and they're so delicious. They're very chewy and just amazing and my brother actually introduced these to me when I was in Ottawa he bought them and I had one and I fell in love so when I saw them here I was just I was all over that so I love these cookies and I highly recommend trying them out um obviously not the healthiest for you but it happens so now moving into my favorite song of the month and this is kind of funny because this song actually just came out like last night and it is work bad word by Britney Spears. I don't want to like say it because I know I have younger viewers, but I'm sure we've all heard the B word, let's be real. But I absolutely love this song. Totally my jam. Like when I'm washing dishes and stuff, I'm like jamming out to this. Oh, 
I love it. I feel like it's like my new motto with like life. I don't really know. But it's a really good song if you're of age appropriate to listen to it. Go ahead. If you are not age appropriate, don't play it out loud because your parents might get mad. But I really like it. I like Britney Spears' music and it's such a like danceable song. It's such an upbeat pump up song that I will probably be using a lot when I go to the gym just because it's like get it done girlfriend. So I love that song and yeah. That's basically the only song that I've been loving other than One Direction's best song ever. I feel like that's a favorite every month. But my friend who is actually my YouTube favorite of the month, and that is Tessa, who I go to school with, but she's one of my new best friends, and she actually makes she actually makes beauty videos too, and I'll have her link down below so you guys can go check her out and subscribe, and I think we're going to try and do some videos together, so if you have any like videos we could do together, ideas type thing, leave them in the comments below because that I thought that would be kind of fun to film with another YouTuber, but yeah, so we have back to the One Direction thing. We have been singing this song for the past couple days in class and it's like stuck in my head and I've been listening to the music video and stuff. So it's a really good song too, but I feel like that's my favorite song all the time. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the products that I've been loving for the month of September. Also leave your favorite product of the month down in the comments because I love trying out new products as most beauty people do. And also, I wanted to mention, if you have any Halloween tutorial requests, please leave them in the comments below, tweet them to me, or you can even put them on my Facebook page, because I'm starting to plan out my videos, and I want to know what you guys would like to see, because I have been, I've been having like this big brain fart, and I have no idea what kind of Halloween tutorials to do, so if you have any specific requests, please let me know, and yeah. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!